Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise God, my sisters and brothers. I greet you all in the name of our Lord. Christ Jesus, the Son of Living God, I'm back again with the Word of God. I am back again with the Word of God. Today we're going to talk about holy forever. Holy forever. Who can be holy in this world? That's only our two God. He always holy forever. Let me tell this, my sisters and brothers. If you do not have the Holy One in you, I always say this every day. Only those who doesn't know him, but those who know him and you do not have him, then you are living in this world for nothing. Those who don't know him, they they are living because one day they will know him and then he comes and heal them and deliver them. But you know him, you don't have him. You are living for, for nothing. The word of God say, those who are uh, in... He say that um how do they say he say that um any fruit which doesn't have a fruit any tree which doesn't uh, uh how do they spit it out how do they which doesn't have a fruit on it let be cut down and be removed why because they don't see no use of it you do not have fruits on you God always gives chances to those trees. To have fruits on it. You hear the word of God every day. You pray, oh God help me. Every day. But you do not give your life to Christ. You say, help me, oh God. Is the only one who can tell you. Tell him, tell me, oh God. When you pray to him to turn you closer to him. You're going to see the difference. You're going to see that it's only one who's going to help you. Then you be near him. And you also, he be near you. Draw me near and I'll draw you near. Who? Christ. If you do not have God as your personal savior in your life, my sisters and brothers, you are living for nothing on this world. I was born a Muslim. If I did not have to accept Christ in the right time, I was supposed to do it. I was living on this world for nothing. I was on this world for total nothing. But he came to me and I heard and I accept him as my personal savior. We need to give our life to Christ Jesus. Oh, any time. Last time I, I preached about crock. Now the crock is like this. Like this. Like this. Any time he does like this and it's over, it will be over. Nobody will be allowed to give your life to Christ when the crop is like this. When it's like this, it will be done. So everybody has a chance on this world. If you're still breathing, you still have a chance. Anybody who has a chance to this world, you still have a chance to give your life to Christ. Even though you did your soul to, to the other side, you can tell him, help me, take my soul out of there. I didn't know what I was doing. Because let me tell you this, he lied to them and they do it. So if you were alive, God can forgive you. He forgives each and everybody. Isaiah 53, 5, he died on the cross for each and everybody in this world. You see him, you hear him, you know him, you abuse him. Instead of saying, help me, Lord, so that I should be able to do what you want me to do. God loves us all. We are all made in the image of Most High God. But He loves those who love Him. Proverbs 18. He loves those who love Him. You love Him, it's going to be near you. I used to be a Muslim, but I used to love God. Yes, I used to do some of the things which doesn't show that God is with me, 
but I used to love him on the other side. I could hear pastors preaching and I say amen on the streets. I could walk around or do my own thing, walk around and then he just help me how help me. When I see people preaching, I don't abuse them. Some people, they see pastors preaching on the streets and they abuse them. If you say your God is this and this, why you this and this and this? Why you dress like that? Why you put in shoe and shoe this and this and this? Just follow what the person is talking about. Don't follow what he is putting on. Do not look at the person and judge the way the person is. Our God is so holy. He loves everybody. Yesterday I was reading the word in Matthew. He said he will tell his father, I do not know that person. A lot of will come and say, I was with you doing this and this and this and this. I did this and this and this. And he will say, I do not know you. He said in Matthew, if you read in Matthew, I was reading Matthew 13. Though also you can read in Matthew 6, you can go ahead and read. If you start from 13, you go ahead and read and read. You will saw a lot of things. You saw what you read. If you read a life, you will receive right. If you read uh, something which is not for there, that's what you're going to receive. Our God is so holy. He's so holy. He's so ho if he appears right now and everybody see him, you're going to see how holy he is. He is very holy. So, my sisters and brothers, I don't have much to say. We preach every day to the word of God, people to change. But if you can't change and just continue to, uh, to, to abuse God, to say whatever way you want, say to do this and that, you do not go to have him. Then after that, you say hey, whatever you want to say. And you say, I will repent. Repent is for those who do things without knowing. It's not for those who do things knowingly that after doing this, I'm going to repent. My sisters and brothers, God bless you. See you next time. God is holy. Give your life to Christ so that you should have a life indeed.